Oh my god, what the fuck just happened? What is that thing? Who's that? That's oh, Emily. Come on, Emily, make it, make it. Okay, we're back at the lodge. Where's Matt? Wait, Em, where's Matt? Is he okay? I don't want to talk about that fucking sack of shit. Wow. He left me. He just fucking abandoned me when I was hanging off that goddamn tower about to die. What tower? And then I, I fell into this terrifying freaking mine shaft and he was just gone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what mine shaft? I, I was walking down there in the mines and it was dark and I found this pile and there was Beth's head. Wait, what? Beth's head, I found Oh my god. What the fuck? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. I think they fell down there. Oh, Jesus Christ. But the worst part is I don't think that Hannah died, like, from the fall, not right away. Wait, what? What do you mean? I don't know. I feel like she was down there, like, starving to death for weeks when we were all up here looking for her. We had no idea. <sighs> That's horrible. Listen, in in the tower there was there was a radio and I, and I got through to someone, but then that was right when the tower collapsed. Em, you made it. Oh God, yeah, Mike. Yeah, barely. What about Matt? We're trying to figure that out. Yeah, there, there was this monster that was chasing her. Uh, she's all messed up, guys. Emily, hey Em. Whoa. Who is that? Who the fuck can that be? Josh. Jess. It's not Jess. I don't know. We should check it out. I got your back. Good. That is our friend. Close the door. Already, whoever it is is probably gone by now. I, unless you want me to take the gun. No, no, no. I think that's less good. You do the door. I got the gun. <laughs> Hold on there. Hold on there, Mister. Freeze. Ah, oh, what? All right. All right. <laughs> take it easy, Grandpa. Okay, everybody, just calm down. Just move over there. Go on, move. Let me say what I came to say. This is that guy that found Emily. Washingtons would be very surprised to hear that. <laughs> well, the mound don't belong to me, it's true. But it don't belong to the Washingtons. This mountain belongs to the Wendigo. The what? Who? What's he talking about? The hell's a Wendigo. Let's hear him out. Not like we have a choice. I'm only gonna tell you this once. It doesn't matter to me if you believe it or not. I got me. See? I told you. He's guilty as shit. Guilty as something. Shut up, Mike. There is a curse that dwells in these mountains. Should any man or woman resort to cannibalism in these woods, the spirit of the Wendigo shall be unleashed. Oh, crap. I 
that's the Wendigo. That's also the Wendigo. You're going to need to find somewhere safe. The basement might be okay. Okay, get down there now, all of you. Wait. What? Why? For how long? Until dawn. Until dawn. She said it. She said it. I ran off and left Josh when I heard screaming. Where did you leave him? In the shed. Uh, your friend will already be dead. No. No, he can't be. We, we were just with him. A lot can happen quickly on this mountain. No. I, I'm not letting anything else happen to him. Anything else? What, what do you mean? Uh, Chris, don't. I hit him. We thought he killed Jessica, and, and so he got me right up. I hit him in the head. Chris! Maybe he deserved it. No matter what, we can't just let him die. Then I'll go with you. I, I don't need your help. You going alone? It's suicide. Fine. The rest of you, get down to the basement. Be safe. Don't go outside again until we're back. You don't seem to understand the magnitude of the situation. I'm going to get Josh, aren't I? No, I'm going to get Josh. You're going to help me. Do you understand? Hardcore as fuck. Yeah, I think so. You need to follow me and do everything I tell you. Hey. Hey, that's my boy. So, so, so tell me, you're the expert on these things. What's uh, what, what's a guy got to know? You just be careful. You follow my lead. Alrighty. So, how many times do I have to shoot it with a shotgun before it's dead? Are you kidding? This thing won't even kill it. No, slow it down. But how do you kill it? I don't like fire. I don't like fire. I fear it. And I can kill them if you have to. Your skin is like it's like tough armor. Unless you burn it off first. What the fuck? It's gross. <laughs> what, what, what are these things like? I mean, are they just crazy unpredictable, or, I mean, can you figure out what they're going to do? Uh, they adhere to some pattern, like any animal, or human. Like how? Like they've got schedules? Well, they only hunt at night. Oh. Of course they do. Why? I didn't ask. <laughs> Oh, like a T-Rex. So if I don't move, I, I'm, I'm basically invisible. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't recommend testing it out. Unless you have no other choice. Give it! And he's gone, so we've just wasted his trip and someone's gonna die. Oh dear. On your organs, one piece at a time. So go on 
watch that. Let's go now. It might still be near. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, what the fuck? Oh! Oh! Oh shit. Go away. Go, go. Go. Ah! Go! Make it, make it. No, no, no. Go away! Get away! Ash, Ash. Oh, oh. Oh, thank God, please, let, let me in quick. Oh, you made it, oh. Chris, oh my God, what happened? Oh. Oh. What is that thing? That is so mess. Why is it taking Josh? Oh my god. Oh, my hands are sweating. Got decapitated. No. Oh, shickles. I tore him apart. Right in front of me. Oh, God. Right. These are all the doors? Yeah. Are you sure? What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, look, I really don't think that's a good idea. We should stay put right here until dawn. At least we're safe down here. Oh, yeah? All wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top for that thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning? People will come for us in the morning. You don't sound so sure. That is what'll happen, right, Em? Yeah, I, I mean, right? <sighs> I'm leaving. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. Josh. All right, go after Josh, sure. Great, great. If that fucking thing got a hold of Josh, then wish it out of luck. Yep, wish it out of luck. It's possible, what's possible? It may have taken him down to the mine. What? I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives, and... Huh. Em, what? Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. Kero! And what is all that? So that old guy's bag. Is that a map? I oh, I was prepared for anything. <laughs> What is this place? Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? I was down there. It was horrible. You were? I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're gonna get the fuck out of here, please. I'm just saying, it's weird how much crazy shit's gone on up here. Yes, it is. What's weird is that there's a tunnel leading from the lodge to the sanatorium, see? That's how I got back here. I saw this when I was down there. That's where it lives. Um. Um, what is... Huh? What is that? Ash. Um, oh my... Oh my god, it's, it's oh my nothing. god. It's nothing. It just oh it, no, it no, bit no. me and... Bit you? What bit you? The... The Wendigo. Oh god. It's nothing. Really, it's not a big deal. You okay? It doesn't hurt anymore, really. It's it's not that bad. 
M. If that's too big. I, I know what you're thinking, and I'm fine. Are you? Yes. Emily, at least let us check it out. Emily, if the Wendigo bit you, you could turn into one of those things. Oh, that's ridiculous. Is that how it works? Remember, he said that. Is that how it works? Yes. It happens. If it bit you, you're going to turn into one, and then you're going to turn on us. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You can't be down here with us. What? Mike. You got to go. Are you kidding me? You're putting us all in danger. Like hell I am. Emily, you can't stay here. Mike, just cool your head, okay? We don't know if it works like that. Maybe it's just a bite. I've seen what these fuckers can do. I don't want to say it again. What is this? Guys, what are you doing? The door's right here. I am letting you do this voluntarily. Oh no, you're just making yourself feel better about sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with... Okay, oh my god, will you just go? Go, get out of here! Whoa, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mike, calm down. You're... You're gonna shoot me? Like oh. Me? This is the safe room, M. Please. It is not safe as long as you're in it. Not for us. Don't, don't do this! I'm really sorry. Oh, I am so tempted to. No, I can't. No, I'm not doing it. For a few. She's not turning. Just wait and see, alright? She could turn, but just keep an eye out. Yeah, exactly. Good, good. Anything weird. You guys know what to do. Put a bullet in a skull. No one leave. Okay? It's not safe out there. I'll be back soon. <laughs> he says as he leaves. What are you looking at, Ashley? I thought that, that he was going to help us. Did the flamethrower dude? Now we don't have a chance. No, guys, it just... I really wish I had a shot at now. We've got to do this on our own. I don't know if I can. It's a cabin. Desperate and craves food. This guy's a little OCD. When it goes sees movement, it is a hunter like a hawk. Cannot see stillness. It says that because the Wendigos are mutated from humans, when they hunt us, they know how to perfectly mimic their prey. What does that mean? Can mimic its prey, you must remain sharp and disciplined. Does that mean it can make human noises? Try not to kill them. Killing a Wendigo should be the last resort. Death releases the Wendigo spirit into the air. I have contained them. I use traps to catch them and fire to drive them into cages. The bite is harmless. I have been bitten, but I did not change. Oh, thank God I didn't kill her. Should be fine. It says that the bites, it, if it bites you, it's not infectious. It Whew. doesn't do anything. Let me see uh, that. I'm sorry, what did you say? Um, it says she'll be okay. It says what? You're gonna be fine. Fine? Michael almost shot me, is that she fine? Didn't shoot you. And this bitch almost let him. Hey, that's not fair, she was scared. I'm Frickin the one who 
scared. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm like, I didn't know what was going to happen. There's None of us know. There's no excuse. There's no excuse. I'm like, please just try to understand. Understand the palm of my hand, bitch. <laughs> oh, I really wish I had a shot on now. Why? Why, Sam? Why? 